Welcome to Show Jumping Life. I'm David Portner. We're here today with Dr. Joe Rosenberg. Hi, Joe. Hi, David. How are you? Good. Great to see you. So what are we going to do today? Uh, today we're going to inject the patient's cough and joints and hawks. So how do I know if my horse needs injections? A lot of times it's involved with uh, consulting the trainer, the rider, as well as the veterinarian. Uh, if the horse is feeling like its performance is off, it's just not jumping the way or performing the way we'd like him or her to, uh, a lot of times a veterinarian will be consulted, maybe go through a series of joint flexions or limb flexions to help determine if, yes, certain joints are involved and whether or not they should be injected. Great. So can you walk us through the process? Uh, sure. First thing we do is sedate the horse. I use a combination of drugs. He'll be standing very comfortably, very sleepy, but again, under control of his limbs. I then perform a surgical prep of each uh, joint location. Anytime I go into a joint with a needle, we always run the risk of introducing bacteria into the joint. So we make sure that it's as clean as possible. So we use a very strong antiseptic uh, with a long contact time, and that will sterilize the skin of the joint, uh, over the joint. I then go into the joint with a needle, make sure I'm positioned correctly. And after that, I inject uh, my substance. So, so what substance is being injected? Uh, the three things. First of all, is an uh, antibiotic. That's to help us in case we do in, in, infect with any uh, bacteria. The second is a steroid. Those uh, joints are under severe stress, a lot of use. There's inflammation that's developing, arthritis. Uh, so the steroid helps calm down that process and returns the joint to a, a essentially a quiescent state. We also use hyaluronic acid. And what that's essentially doing is feeding the joint capsule. The joint capsule uses that substance to produce healthy joint fluid and hopefully repair the joint. So what is the recovery process like? It involves about seven days of rest. Uh, I put them on a non-steroidal, phenobutazone, banamine, Equiox, one of those uh, medications. It's essentially the same thing as ibuprofen or, or uh, uh, Advil for, for humans. So I put them on that for about a, a week. I also have the client hand walk for four days for 15 minutes and then walk, attack walk for another four days, 15 minutes, and then if possible, then slowly put him back to work. How long should the results last or how often am I going to have to do this? A lot of it depends on the horse, how old he is, how uh, much wear and tear has been placed on those joints, what kind of training he's had, how often he's used. All that factors into how often we have to inject. On a maintenance level, generally about once a year should be sufficient. But if you start seeing certain horses, they need it well every six months, every three months, probably is a good time to find a, a different discipline for the horse. It shows that we're essentially pushing him to his limits. That's great. Joe, thank you very much. We really appreciated having you on today, and we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thank you very much, David. Thanks. Thanks.